Okay, part number two. So we have soldered all of our panel ends to this length that we want. We got the array set up. Uh, we got all the wiring and the power supply and everything done. Now we gotta program what we want the uh, what we want the lights to do. So I'm running Windows 7, and to control the lights, I'm gonna use LED Edit 2013. It's uh, accessible online for free you can find it it's it's a little bit limiting not much you can do with it but for the basics it does more than enough and and you know for getting started into this uh, that's where I started so the first step is actually to go into control panel sorry into computer and plug in your SD card if you have a reader or if it's already in your computer. So what we need to do is we right click on it under the computer. We go to format, click on format and you'll see file system. It should be FAT, FAT, D, and on mine it's default, but that's what it needs to be for it to work for us. Okay. So now we're formatted. So now we're into the program itself. Let's see if we can get a little bit better here. So we start up here under file, which is the top left. And we're going to select new project. This is where we're going to have an option of controllers. There's a list of controllers here. What we're running is the T1000S. And then you'll see some other numbers past that. Well, that's the chip type of the, of the uh, strip that you're using. So we're using a WS2801. So that's what we're going to click on. If it wasn't on this list here, what we do is we go to select controller. And there's a much larger list to choose from. We find it, it's under T1000S, and then there's all these different chip types to choose from off to the right here. So T1000S, ours is already over. If you needed to, you can click on it. You can say add to the list. The list on the right hand side of the screen is what will display on the page before. So we click OK, and ours is already there. So T1000S WS2801. And now we go through the options on the right hand side of the screen which is we need to select the mode, which is a chip type, WS2801. I go to normal mode for data adjustment frame rate. That's how fast it refreshes. I go to the highest setting possible, especially with a small array like we have. If you get into larger arrays, you have to adjust that down. Uh, and then select OK. Now, the next step, so that what that did was, we can get into it here. You can see that now we're set for T1000S WS2801, right? Zoom back out. Now we go to project configure. Now this is where it, it depends on what you're doing. For ours, we have a simple layout. It's a nice basic square. So it's good to start with that kind of project. They do have other things where you can lay out letters, like if you want to lay out um, you know, your name, or let's say if you laid out hello or a business name, um, like for a sign on a business and you wanted that, all the lighting to, to scroll evenly, you can do that on this program. But for the purposes of this video, we'll do auto layout. Auto layout gives us some options to, to go through to set it up. Horizontal pixels, 32, you input 1 to 4,000, and then vertical 1 to 3,000. So we're going to choose that. And we have 32 across because it's 32 lights per meter. And we did one meter section, so it's one meter wide. And we did 13, 13 deep. So we type in 13 
on left hand horizontal and you can actually see how it's set up here. So if you didn't wire it that way, let's say the pattern you wired on the right vertical, and it might be kind of hard to see on the screen here, but it actually shows how it's wired. So it was correct the first time on the left horizontal. So this way, kind of weaving back and forth. We select OK. It tells us total number of LEDs. We have 416 LEDs in this project. And now we've created this grid. You can zoom in and out of the grid, making it larger or smaller, depending on how you want to look at it. The video effects, so we had file, uh, project configure. The next one is video effects. This is where you can start doing some things like move upward, which is a pre-programmed uh, effect. So the effect that you saw in the last video was pre-programmed and it was move, move right. So I think it went from right to left, yeah. So it's scrolling through and it has the rainbow. Now let's say we wanted to do that one, right? That's, that's the one we want to choose. The next step then becomes record, which is a couple over, so we select record. And we hit record. Now, program, you'll see this number. That's, that's uh, the frames, basically. It's recording the frames. So once we want it to stop, we hit stop at 242. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete that because I want to show you something else. I'm going to hit record. Now recording current SWF, which is the basically the entire start to finish, and you can do it you can actually do it a, fa a faster version, so you don't have to wait so long, but we'll do it with fast recording. Okay, so now we have the whole thing, start to finish, the whole file that was you know scrolling left to right is in the program, and it was 230 frames. Now what we do is we go to, you can edit and preview it if you wanted to, or you can go to export, Everything has to be closed in order for you to export something. So now we're going to export effect. It comes up with where do you want to export it to? Computer. And then your, your um, SD card. Sorry. Okay. Now it's going to come up here. Now you can select the program code depending on how many programs you want to put on it. We're going to leave it as 00 because we only have one program. We select OK, and now we've just saved it to our SD card. Now what we want to do is, we'll back up the camera. Now what we're going to do is we're going to eject the SD card. Save to eject. SD card. Come around. Now the program needs to be turned off. Sorry, it needs to be the whole system needs to be unplugged before unplugging in or unplugging your SD card to your controller. So we plug it in here. Now I'm going to set you down real fast. And we're gonna plug in the power supply. Give it a minute, and we're scrolling. And that's it. So then we can speed up. Or slow down. And that's how you, that's a basic programming of the digital display.